iHeartRadio concert. Who is Lou? And Lou. Isn't that like a, like a proper <laughs> no, way of saying you're right. it? I'm, I'm just tommying it. Um, oh, God. I don't know. I I didn't. Surely you can't be serious. Yes, I'm serious. And don't call me <laughs> don't Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. I didn't see this. I will give you a hint. I was watching. I was watching a, <laughs> a Tiger King. I was watching a, f- a fake football game. <laughs> I know. I saw that on your on your Facebook or Instagram. You were watching fake football. It was yeah. So it's like a um, DraftKings has a free is like a free fantasy like daily fantasy game that you can play. Um, <laughs> it's so stupid. Well, like, well, well, before, they use before, Madden and they simulate before, the game. Before we, before we go to that, you have to answer the question. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> crap, I was trying to get out of it. I was trying to but make I you think that I, I got it. I got you. I'm bringing it back. Uh, uh, he hosted live from your living room. I'll give you a hint. <clears throat> he has, uh, has been knighted by the Queen of England. Uh, Sir Elton John? <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> Sir Elton John or Sir Paul McCartney. But uh, yeah, Elton John. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. That yeah. that clue, we watched it. That clue definitely definitely helped. I have a question. <clears throat> okay. And for the audience, because yeah. Rob and I were having this debate. Like, so the way that the, the Rosie show and and the live from your living room last night, where it's like obviously Elton John is in his uh, apartment, well, the fun or his whatever you mean, his mansion, his house. And the fun thing is, did you say his apartment? Said his apartment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. I mean Whoopsie. his castle. Uh, uh, and so of course the fun thing is to, to, for them to be like oh and next up is Lizzo and you can see like the way the other half lives but um, I forgot about yeah so yeah so um, here's my question for you mm-hmm. is that oh, these people like um, mm-hmm. Demi Lovato saying something and uh, Lady Gaga Mariah Carey Lady ended Gaga. the show Mariah Carey ended the show and I was like alright did she oh. end it because people what? left I don't know what she was singing. <laughs> like, they, she, they were all people singing. just left, so it wasn't supposed to end then. But they were done with it. <laughs> they were done. <laughs> but um, they were all singing such sad, <clears throat> happy songs. And I know that we're going through like this really difficult time in our on in this planet right now. But I was yeah. like, I was like, I don't know. Kind of want to hear it up tempo. Like, dang it, Mariah, sing all I, I want for Christmas. I know she sang. She did sing. Do 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 oh. Do, 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 do. But it was like more like in this key. Do do do. Oh, <laughs> really? Do, do, do. Yeah, it was. She sounded interesting. But anyways, <laughs> oh, bless her. Everybody was singing such sad songs, and I was like, I understand. And they were doing like mm. you know montages of really sad images. But I was like, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to to watch some entertainment and, uh, and you not, know and, of the two uh, celebrities, un, not unrelated to. to like, yeah. I I don't know if that's a good good idea or a bad idea. That was the, that was the topic of conversation yesterday. And and my feeling on that would be that, that. I'm hearing a weird echo. That's strange. Um, my feeling would be like you know maybe have a little segment dedicated to like if it's for a charity or whatever. Like have a little segment where it's yeah. Like, they but, did do that. They did but, do that. But then the rest of the show, like pick it up. Have some fun. I wanted a tambourine up in there, I guess is what I'm saying. I wanted more cowbell. I wanted more cowbell. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I didn't even see it. Okay, so we're going to take a virtual, just so yeah. that I have a place to put, uh, you know what, forget I've... it. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just throw the 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 little breaks somewhere. No, never mind. <laughs> I was going to do a little of bell course. for one, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll just pick some spots, so. Yep, like this one. And we're back. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Tommy, are you ready for question number five? Hold on, if, if you're really gonna do it, I'll do a bell here. Here we go. Okay. And we're back. Wait. Oh wait. And we're back. Okay, sure, whatever. I'll make it work. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll fi- <clears throat> I'll figure it out. All right. Question. I'll push the push the thing. The okay. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Number five, 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 which is the question I skipped last week or two weeks ago. But anyways, okay. Question number five. <laughs> it's a different question. <laughs> it's a different but question. it's number five. Name the actor that everyone in Hollywood is less than six degrees of separation. Kevin Bacon. Correct. 
<laughs> yeah. The <laughs> um, reason why I'm asking, I'm telling you about Kevin Bacon is because he started the trend who I'm isolating for. And it's a, a virtual video that you put up, uh, mm -hmm. and then you say who you're isolating for, and he held up signs with his kids and Kira, and it uh, has started this really huge trend, and stars have been doing it like uh, David Beckham. So good for nice. you, Kevin Bacon. Good, good for you, Kevin Bacon. You get the mm. award show applause. <clears throat> on, watch. Is that, did you do a, you did a video? I did not, know. I didn't either. You know, it's weird, yeah. Um, but still, good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's just a reminder of staying indoors, people. Did you, how many degrees from Kevin Bacon are you? I, I mean, I would think not that many. I think I'm just like, I'm, a, like I know a two, lot of people. One or two, probably. Wait, yeah. does one mean you know him personally? Or it's like I, you know someone who knows him, right? I, I'm i pretty sure I know somebody who knows him. <clears throat> yeah. I think, Actually, we're in the, I think we're in the same boat. You know, my old voice teacher, I think, used to uh, give him voice lessons. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm his best friend. Well, um, he's actually texting me right now, and I'm like, dude, can you just calm down, stop Bacon? It. Stop, it, Bacon. Bacon. Stop, stop it, Kevin Bacon. Stop it. Stop it, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Knock it off. Well, correct, Amundo. You got question five. <laughs> correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am... I'm I'm going I'm hitting 100 right now, right? I'm batting sure. 100. Oh, you don't know you know what you're playing for. I don't know what I'm playing for. And I I also don't know what is there a, was there a theme to today or is it just No, I'm you... actually I've actually done my research and I'm trying to find actual <clears throat> things that have happened in pop culture. Got Okay, got Oh, see I wasn't sure. Yes, no. a lot so a lot I, of I'm this try, was I'm trying to actually do have you heard the news. I am I am proud of you. So, so that it's not just. Do you know this crap? Do you no, know, no, no. This is actually current events. Okay. That now, I, I think you're you're throwing down the gauntlet, looking at me, saying, "Hey, look, next Monday, I better come with it. I better." You know, it's, it's, better it's really. I mean, uh, listeners, Tommy and I really try to stay out of like you know the politics and and some of the negative things that are happening on the world, trying to do a positive spin on it. But it's very difficult to find. Yeah. <laughs> those sort of questions in this particular time but it's i did true. uh and with that being said this next question probably is so random but question number six is ready you ready All ready right. question number six number six 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 um true or false true Cur <laughs> oh, wait <laughs> no wait uh, give me the question dri uh, drive through <laughs> employees have the perfect routine to avoid touching other people's hands. I, per, it's perfect? They have a perfect routine. I don't think anything is perfect. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, sure, okay, I'll, I'll bite. <laughs> True. Well, it doesn't matter. You, you could have gotten, the, you could have said false and the question could have been right because I did, I did read these questions to Sariana. What up, girl? Hey, Sari. What up? <laughs> Um, I always read the questions to her. Not, uh, not, and, and my not Siri. My Siri just went off. Stop it, Siri. <laughs> Stop you, it, Siri. you and Kevin Bacon go find a room. Go I a know. Room somewhere. Get that. Uh, <clears> and <throat> she, so Rob and I went to In N Out Burger yesterday because mm -hmm. drive thrus are still open. Yes. And we really wanted a burger and fries yes. and a shake. Wasn't uh, it? Wasn't it glorious having fast food? Oh yeah, it was lovely. I love fast. I love terrible foods. I had I McDonald's love... this past week, and I was just like, oh, it's, it was so amazing eating uh -huh. something that somebody else cooked. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna. I think on the way home, I'm gonna stop by Popeyes and get that chicken sandwich. Um, on the way. Back yeah, you think it's too greasy, don't you? Home, I love it. Wait, back to your home, home. Yes, we're we're leaving to go back to Studio City. Okay. On okay, drop off drop off one for me. I okay. Yeah, we're driving by the two ten. Just th um, throw one onto my front porch. <laughs> Social distancing. Um, so yeah, it was. Well, Jack in the Box is a well-oiled machine. I'm sorry, not Jack in the Box. In-N-Out Burger is a well-oiled mm -hmm. machine. Anyways, I mean, it's super crowded, but they have somebody take your order, then they pay, and then you get the food, and you're bam, bam. The owner of In-N-Out lives just up the road. Oh, her, hey, buddy. Yeah, up in the hills. She, um, she, uh, she's she she got a really fancy spot up there. Anyway. I'm sure she does. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, like, the person that was giving, that we give the credit card to, she, like, it, it was just like, and bam, put the card in, and then turn her around, grab the receipt. Did it, like and did it in a way that was so fast and so well choreographed 
that I I was giggled and was very impressed, and I gave her a little bit of a round of applause. She, she, did, it, she did it without her hands. No, she did it without even getting close to somebody's hands. It was just like it was just really like the it was just very interesting. But so I said I asked this question to Sari, and she was like, "It's false." And I'm like, "What?" She's like, and she told me a story how. She went through a drive-thru and like somebody was not wearing gloves or anything and handed her a pen that everybody had been touching and mm. also a clipboard that went into her car. So all of the, the you know, the bacteria and uh, whatever is on this clipboard got in her car and she was very upset and did not go back to this drive-thru. I'm not going to say their name. I was waiting for you to say it. <clears throat> no, don't say it. Uh, um, I, I'm not going to say it because I don't remember. <laughs> So, so the drive-thru lady picked her nose with the pen, licked uh-huh. the clipboard, and then handed it to Siri. And sneezed on her face. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah. No, she did not have as good of an experience as I did. I thought it was hilarious. But I've only gone through two fast food places, and both of them I thought were so funny. Okay. So, my my answer is true and false. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I'm oh. uh, batting 100. You're I'm batting nervous 100. now. All right. Okay. All right. Question: Are you ready for the last question? Yeah. Oh, what, wait. What, what am I going to win? You, if you get this correct, mm-hmm. you will win an inflatable flamingo beer holder for your pool, and I think you know the ones. I don't have a pool. We can put it in your bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. <clears throat> I'll take it. You know, you know which ones I'm talking about. <clears throat> you know the ones. Um, you know. The ones in, in our pool, they're the, the flamingos that just, the, anyways, yeah. Right. So it's a, it's an inflatable flamingo beer holder. Okay, I'm down. All right, here we go. I want that. Do the thing. Do the, the juju. Like Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the juju. The, the here we go. Final question. Question number seven. Okay. Who has been forced to homeschool their children, whether they like it? Or not. Everyone. Everyone. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo-hoo. Correct. Um, yeah. I have some friends that have some young kids mm-hmm. and they are they, having. They don't like it. They're having a difficult time. So all you parents out there. Sorry. <laughs> it's like you thought you were done with school. Nope. Well, here's the thing. It's like now the kids aren't going back into school, so now they have summer. So you're going to have to be with those those crazy kids for five months. Those little snot machines. Snot machines. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah. Imagine children. So, they like – they sneeze on you. They, uh-huh. pee, they pee on you. They crap on you. They, all the things. All and the then they, things. And then they become teenagers, and then they're mean to you. They crap on you. Uh, they they li- pee on you <laughs> like not literally but they crap on you figuratively um <laughs> so i've never been more excited to not have offspring right now is that awful to say i think it is <sighs> i love children. no i we feel the same way we feel but we then feel again the but then again i also feel like <clears throat> that, i mean i think your wife said this last time i saw her in person <clears throat> this is probably gonna be like the new baby boomer right the baby boom the, ba- the baby boom yes there will be lots of Corona kids. Oh my god, that's awful! Is that what they're going to be called? <laughs> corona kids. I'm part of the baby the baby boom. I'm part of the, of the corona. I'm a I'm a corona. I'm a corona. I'm, 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 I'm a corona. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it sounds like some some sort of pastry. <laughs> oh, well, that, you just made me want to make pizza. Ooh, I don't know why. I know. I've been holding. <laughs> I've been holding out for pizza. Well, because pizza is delicious. That's why it is delicious. I made I made uh, the most boring yet still fun and delicious and classic thing yesterday: cabbage, uh, c- carrots, potatoes. Didn't put any meat. Put in, you know it was just cabbage, carrots, potatoes. It was delicious. How very Irish of you! It, yeah, it was a nice little vegetable stew. <clears throat> well, Tommy. Yes. Guess what? Chicken butt. Yep. Congratulations! I won. You won an inflatable flamingo beer holder. Inflatable, yes. That's hard to say. Inflatable flamingo beer holder. Inflatable flamingo beer holder. Yeah. Yes, I'm so excited. I know it's a good one. It's one of the better ones. <sighs> That's just. Yeah, I, I'm. I can't wait to receive it. Does it come in the mail or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. 
Well, I'm going to throw it at your door when I throw you your Popeye's. You can just put this 